If you don't have one, then you need to create an email address. It's important that you get one. Why? Because on the system we intend to use and we've been using for quite some time, we have been doing the communications through an email address. And when a point in time comes, we shall be giving you university email addresses, but they will be based on your personal email address. So if you have an email address, it becomes very easy for us to communicate to you the new university email address. Um, so as we go through this, I want you to think of um, those few or three items. What is blended learning? It's nothing other than um, a combination of learning components and learning events to create a meaningful learning. You include the transition of classroom, like what we are doing currently. Actually, blended learning is all what we are doing right now. That at the point in time you have your lecturer come to you to physically teach you or lecture you. But at the end of the day, you go back to the e-learning system, submit your assignments, your coursework, your pick your reading material and everything. Okay? So that's what we call as brilliant learning. It's a combination of a number of things. And why do we do this? Because we want you to know or want you to keep you focused. One, we want you to know that with e-learning and web learning inclusive, we want you to be engaged all the time that you are engaged. You're not idle. You're either in a chat session or you're in a discussion forum, or you're accessing an online resource, for example, through the YouTube video. It can also be uh, probably a book that you pick from the e-library. We want to interest you. How do you pronounce that? Right? Hmm? How do you pronounce this? Sorry? You know, that's the difference of uh, where we went. Eh? Some of us went to those very interesting schools where I come from, where we used to come from. Eh? <laughs> what does it mean, your neighbor? Great. We want to keep you engaged. Eh? But you want to, you know, want to, want you to enjoy, have an interesting experience. Okay, but you don't only really enjoy, but you also approve that yes, this is what I want to have. Do you know why? Do you have any other ways about starting? Hmm? That, about starting. Good. Now we have two types of people. We have what we call, we have what we call the digital age people, which is you and your siblings, anybody who is 30 and below is a digital age person. They also have the digital migrants. Yeah? So when you migrate from one place to another, you become foreign, not so. So some of us are foreign. That probably if we did not by grace to be picked up the system. But because God still loves us, we exist and we are the digital migrants. We're simply learning to use these things. Some of you are born from within these things. You can, that's why you find a kid as old as two or three years, he knows how to operate a smartphone. Some of us take ages to learn how to do all these things. So we want to interest you, we want you to enjoy this kind of we want you to exchange ideas that regardless of where you are, whether you're in China, Mukaka, or Makere, or Jamogo, you can throw a point the way you do it on WhatsApp and Facebook. You exchange ideas, you exchange information, and you're able to learn from each other. We want you to be able to enrich each other. Okay? We want you to be able to enhance each other. We want you to be able to extend the knowledge from what you have to something new. Okay. If you cannot do that, then it becomes a problem. We want you to be empowered. Empowerment is as important as your education. You must be empowered. At the end of the day, you live in Kumba University when you have a purpose in life. We want you to be able to, to embed this not this knowledge you have received from Kumba into your personal life. But when you go out there and ask for a job. There is a difference between someone who went to Kumba and someone who went to 
team. We want you to be entertained as you learn. Okay. Learning should be entertaining. Now, these are some of the things that we are intending to have. Or we think and we feel that we should have in learning. And so in a nutshell, we are actually trying to make sure and let you know that learning, good learning, brings about increased flexibility in learning. But regardless of your location, you're able to do something. So, um, when we talk of e learning, okay, we want to let you know, or rather, I want to let you know that we want you to stay wherever you are, but at the same time, be able to learn from where we are. You can either be in computer lab, you can be at your home, in your hostel, and you know, we want to provide what you actually want you as a learner. Well, how can we do it? By being able to be available anywhere at any place. Okay. We have built this system, the brain system of learning called three principles. Sometimes you have, I'm sure you've heard of this word. An idea? Yes, sir. Central intelligence, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another one? Madame in machines. Okay. Uh -huh. It's built on confidentiality because whatever you do must be confidential to you as an individual and to the institution you subscribe to. That's why you must have a very good password and a very good username. Two, it looks at integrity. How integral is the information that no one can simply get in and change anything at any one moment in time, unless the authorized person. And whoever is authorized must be authenticated, must be given the, the right roles into the system. So our very model of learning is built on these three. Sometimes we call it a triangle. Okay? Confidentiality, integrity, and also, at the same time, apart from being authenticated, it should also be available to you all the time. So this is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. All the time, anywhere, at any point. That's why, on our previous slide, we have this. And that is why, still, we do... So the question is, can we as in Kumba be able to provide this? And the answer is yes. Someone will tell you no, but it is a yes. What are we looking at? <clears throat> Why? Because we feel that there is no single learning delivery method is capable of supporting the kind of experience that you actually need, other than integrating both the traditional means and the current or the electronic means. Therefore, that means that the mix of traditional and new learning approaches and technology should be appropriately utilized for flexible learning. For you to submit your password, your assignment, and do the thing. At the end of the day, we should be able to blend various learning strategies and approaches for flexibility. How? One, by having what we call synchronous live uh, classes. Like what we are going through. So you have someone in class to take you through a session of what we are doing right now. Two, you may have uh, a live online uh, discussion or class where you meet all of you online, virtually, and be able to exchange ideas. And also, we may have an asynchronous, which is not live, but in a self-paced kind of uh, format, where you sit in your hostel, where you sit at your at your bed, where you sit in your living room and you're able to go through the learning content step by step at your own pace. When you feel you have not understood something, then you are at liberty to move back one step and probably get to understand these concepts much easier and much better. So those are the three principles we look at, or the components that we look at when we talk of blended learning. Now, as we prepare to go online, friends, 
there are things that you must put into place, especially if you are moving to a synchronous live session. Whatever you want to use, you make sure, okay? You make sure that you're prepared very well. Have whatever you need in place. If it means network, look for a school network spot. After all, when you want to make calls, some of us when you want to make calls and we're deep in the village, you go under a specific tree. And whenever you want to make a call, that's where you sit. This time, because you're going to be having a class, go sit under the tree and make that time use. However small it is. Two, dress code is very important. How would you feel if I had come halfway dressed? I want to get your idea. What, how would you feel? Feel free. So, your dress code matters. As much as you will be doing working either from home or your hostel, avoid being naked in class. Dress professionally. Three, mind the environment where you'll be. If, for example, we had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, taka taka here, I, I believe you understand. Eh? So many things here, eh? cluttered here, and I'm standing here. What would you be thinking? Would you be attentive to what we are having, or you would be looking at this? Eh? What would be your description of me? Yes. You say she resembles me. Eh? She says she will get distracted. So the distractions in your background, if you are going online, must be taken. Uh, if you've been an, given an option to speak, always make sure you don't shout, but you speak moderately. Okay. Someone is here. Okay. And you're speaking, yeah, you don't shout. Now, when you are going online, <laughs> Diana. I think I met you. Where? You know why I'm asking him? Because he told me he's been following you up and down from the time you came here and the time you came to apply. How do you feel about it? But why? Thank you. It's a sign of stalking. Now, there are what we call the Computer Misuse Act and the Cyber Harassment Laws. One of them is cyber stalking. So he has mentioned of stalking, which is uh, she, I'm being trying to make an expansion. They don't know each other. So you may be followed online. So mind what you post. Mind what you do when you're online. Two, Avoid using discussing politics in any political classes. She's not in any way. So when you see her putting on there that, that color, you don't associate her with the you. you never know who she is. Eh? You see. Neither is he is he UPC. You, eh? you see? There's no in RM, maybe there's no GP here as well. But anyway, avoid using political statements in any political classes. Avoid making this, this is very important. Avoid being racist, tribalistic, sexist, or making such comments, especially when, because you don't know these sessions are being recorded. Imagine a moment in time when they are being played back, okay? And they are reporting you having performed a crime, or having, um, you, you, you had a crime. So these laws may, may hit you hard, so please, not. Ensure that you have sensitive, you keep sensitive information. If you're going to share your screen with the rest of your colleagues, please do not share. Hmm? If I took a survey right now and did ask for some of your phones to check for something, you may get surprised to see what we find on your phones. Now, when that time comes, make sure you do not fall a victim. Um, <clears throat> also, if you are off, you're getting off your class. Make sure you log off from your class. Do not be a victim like this gentleman here. This is a CEO somewhere. He doesn't want to dress properly when he's in class. And guess what happens? I think you see. He gets into his class. Meanwhile, everyone is. 
assuming it was in what <laughs> <laughs> Some people are touching their mouths and say, oh my God, is this possible? So that is like, if you have to go online, please make sure you guide yourself to the search. Your camera is as important as whatever as your dress code. So as you go to, you make sure, I believe you've seen this at some point. Was it in Uganda? I doubt. I think this is Ambassador something in South Sudan, that it was in the USA. These were people on Zoom, a Zoom class, or a Zoom meeting. And you know what happened? He was busy moving around to the, to the rules, the short call, with the camera on, and everyone was seeing whatever was happening. <laughs> so, mind. All in all, what we intend, we want to make sure that our obligation as Nkumba and lecturers in Nkumba were able to in the old and the new means of communication and teaching to be able to reach out to you to provide real time feedback in most of the things that we do. Three, uh, encourage. Uh, collaboration and listening, such that we are able to communicate and also be able to give you the service that you desire. Lay a foundation for a lifelong learning. Why? Because we know learning is a process, it never ends. Today you're here, tomorrow you'll be in some other place. I was speaking to a certain lady in Nigeria and I was asking her that when is a mother a mother? And she said that a mother never stops to be a mother. Why? Because when when he's not, doesn't have a chance of what will, what will my daughter ever get a man to marry? Uh, when she marries her, what will my daughter ever get a chance to pay a children? When she conceives, will my daughter ever be able to push, give birth? When he gives birth, he gives birth. Will this child grow? Now, your mother is always, you know, worried of you. So we feel that as a woman, we should always be worried of who you are. Now, even after you meet even at a point when you're taken to prison and she knows you cannot do anything, she said, I said, This is my son, this is my daughter, please don't take her. She will either sit at the entrance and stay there, but she cannot do anything. So, we believe that we should be able to provide and we are willing to provide all of this to make sure that at the end of the day, your time and staying in Kumba is as good as someone who has been to heaven. First part done. Questions? Okay, the second part. The second part we want to look at, we want to practically go through. And I want to believe that what, uh, what I mentioned some time back, you, um, you took a note of it. I want to join that session. Can I have, um, who knows uh, password for email address? Is your email address? Who knows the password? If you know your password of your email address that you can sign into any of these machines, feel free. Do we have? Can you sign into your email address here on my machine? Hmm? <laughs> Where are the passwords? 
So now you're going to use these machines, but I want someone, one person for demonstration purposes. So please come, thank you. So whatever we are going to do here, sir, are you comfortable with this? Uh, the Okay, we are there. Type yeah. Mkumba. Mkumba University of SDG. This is what we are going to do. If you look at this window, there is this section for salary. Okay? But at the top, we have a section that says, which is called the address bar here. This is why I want to type to Goomba.sc.ug, Goomba University, which is uh, www.goomba University. Sc. 
my writing is very poor. But if you don't have a if you don't know how to use a computer, don't worry. Okay? With the time we shall get there. The second thing that happened to me when I touched the computer, my hands were shaking. Hmm? Like I touched my muko, my nazar. Is it my nazar? Yeah, my in law. <laughs> okay, um, press enter, sir. Those who went to the search section, now go and click at Kumba Home. Those who are already there, we shall find you there. So at Kumba Home, the number of things we want to look at. One, it is an e-learning portal. I'm sure someone has explained to you something to do with the student portal. Have you? Hmm? It's either yes or no. Have you? Yes. Good. So we have two portals in the university. We have an e-learning photo and a street photo. We went through the street photo, we are going through an e-learning photo. So there is an e-learning photo. Those of you who have very good mobile phones or devices can go and download an app. This is a mobile app for the same platform, which is a Google app. You are the first to Uma University e-learning environment. Three, we have um, FAQs. These are frequently asked questions. We have uh, a timetable. We shall be finding our timetables here, in addition to whatever, whatever timetable you receive. But officially, an original copy will be kept here. Then you have an exam timetable that will also be there, and all of these. So, my interest now, I want to look at a timetable, the two timetable, and the deal and copy. So how do we check the time table? Go to time table. And the other time table, go to all schools. Now when you go to all schools, you discover that we have a number of schools here. We have school of law, school of education, and so on. Depending on where you come from, the field you're coming, you're joining with. If, for example, you're joining us as um, as a school of education, you want to become a teacher. I am not a teacher. I am learning, I am also studying to become a teacher. So if you want to start to be a teacher like me, you go to school of education, where is it? It is here. Huh? No, no, please go down, go, go, go back up. Okay, go down. Left. Here. Oh, school of education is here. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. So when you pick at school of education, you have a timetable for the freshers like me and you. There's also a timetable for those who are already in the system. Wow. Now to access your timetable, you click at download and send freshers timetable. Just click at that. And within no minutes, you will have a document having the timetable you're supposed to be following this semester. Now it is upon you to download this timetable and keep it on your phone, your computer, or whatever you want, you are going to study. You simply come here, look at what you're supposed to study, and that is what you actually got. Just going to replace this account here. So that's the time table. So each of you, at your own moment in time, you simply move to that section, whether you are home, wherever, then you'll be able to see the copy of the time table. Now you can click back one step. This button here takes you back one step. Good. Let's go up at the top and now look at the e-learning button. Click at the e-learning button. Now, when you click at the e-learning portal, it's supposed to run very fast and give you this menu or this page or window. Okay? So, on this window, 
to have home or courses and so on. Two ways we can have access to the system. One, you can be a guest, and you know what a guest does. A guest is always a guest. And then two, you should be authenticated to use the system. That's why you need to have a username and password. So this afternoon, very briefly and a little bit fast, we shall see how we can create a username. When you get challenges around the Kampala campus, you can come back to this very room where we are, and you get gentleman and say, that corner there, we'll be able to help you. If you happen not to miss it, feel free to give me a call. I should be able to help you as well, as much as I see the main campus. All right, <clears throat> so, but before we get into that, there is this gentleman called a student guide here. This is a guide for you to take you through, even without any of us there. It should be able to help you. Click at it. And when you click at it, it should be able to open for you another document. This document is a PDF document, which is a step-by-step -step of what we are going to go through. Even what we will not mention, the document is going to mention. So find time in your free time you go through this document, column for and scroll through. It's a manual, continue. It's about eight pages, eight, nine pages, continue, sir. Okay. There are about nine pages, and sorry, back a bit. And under each page, there is something to do, or there is a topic. This topic. You have the first steps, enrolling your courses, searching for a course, course content, how do you get activities, how to download notes, how do you upload assignments, everything is in this document. So just download it and keep it for yourself. Are we okay? Am I too fast? When she says yes, we move on. Go back one step. But if you feel you're being left out, be cautious enough and say, I am a thousand miles away from you. Then you will see where to start from. Hmm? So we want to go and create an account. Under the new account section is why I want you to click. <clears throat> I told you to look to think of the other names you want to use. Right, scroll down, scroll up. So you're going to give us what you want to use as the username. We said it can be your, your student number. Do you know it? Okay. If you know your student number, type the student number here. If you know your student number, under the username, type your student number. If you don't know it off head, but later on you can change. Right. If your name is Joseph Webze, it's a J, Webze. But everything should be in small letters, not large letters. What is 2,100? Somewhere, a small letter, character, and a digit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, if you want to get a good password, you get a piece of paper. Write down your password. Just check your password. And the song was. Please respond. But this is what would happen. People would say, Chiri okay when they are in a club and they are sweating. Chiri right. okay is sweating. Eh? Hey. So give us your, your email address twice. Down, put your first name and your surname. What is your first name? What is your first name, sir? Moses. Then your son. This is the name of Moses. Say, I don't have all you need, my God. God knows how many days. Okay? Okay, your son name. You can call me that you can call me. You can call me that you Okay. Select your country. Once you're done, click and create my account. Okay, now I think we have a general problem. Now these keyboards are very interesting. There is a shift button that has an arrow pointing up. And there is also a two. And this two is marked with the. Um, with these two, how do you call these two signs? These ones. Eh? Are they called quotes? Some have said these ones. <laughs> now you press the shift button, hold it down, and press two. You will able to get the right sign. You got it, eh? Shift two. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So now, you see, I was very clever. I've had him, he has called me before. And what does it say? If you already have an account, you want to get a message that says the email address is already registered. Because you already have an account. If you don't have, this is what I'm expecting to be able to be seeing on your screens. I'm expecting a message that says, you have requested an account, something to be created. Please go, if there's a project in there, please, please go to the email address and verify your details. Some people have issues in getting the passwords. You 
know what I'm seeing here? People are failing to get passwords. Eh? Okay, no worries. Okay, one, one is successful. It says an email should have been sent to your email address, which you submit, which can limit here. It contains the instructions to complete your registration. Now, when you get that message, go to your email address. Go to the inbox of your email address. Which I'll get where you are. Go to the inbox of your email address. And in that email address, you will find an email. Can you please come and sign in here? Come sign your email here. Don't go very far, boss. So we are going to see how the message looks like using this account.
There are two things we do when we are setting passwords. You can either search by your username or your email address. So I believe he knows his email address, so he's going to search by his email address. Don't search by both, but you search by one. Take your email and click at search. Click search. So it says an email address has been sent to you if you forgot your password. So why do you go and log into your email address? Which I believe what I should show you. Can you log in? You want to see? That's an email send email. Can confirm down there, confirm because you're accessing the website. So, it has an email asking him to reset his password. system is very good enough and clever that it reminds you your username but also gives you an option to put your password so type the password you want to use first the password you take must conform to the other principles we mentioned capital letter small letter capital letter small letter and so on and so forth you take the new password twice and once you're done, you click accept. So how many have been successful in creating the accounts? How many have been able to log in? Entrance from Erebo. What happens when you have a combination? What combination did you do? Hmm? 
N, yeah, oh, okay. History con and end. So that means she had history, paper one, paper two, economics one and two, and then entrepreneurship, right? Yeah. So those are the subjects that you do under the combination she had. Now you're coming to a university, you're being admitted to a program. Which program is? I'm still with you. Hmm? Your program? What degree do you want to have? She was admitted into a program of Bachelor's of Business Administration, right? And you? BPAM. BPAM, that is the Shiro Science. This is School of Business and Management, School of Social Sciences, right? Anyone from law? We don't have lawyers, okay. Artists. Yeah? What about that? artists? 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 Yeah. You have an ambassador here, and you don't know. <laughs> anyway, so now, as a person from School of, uh, of, of BPAM, Bachelor of Public <laughs> and Management, there are several course units which would have all the subjects she's supposed to do. Okay? Now, those are the ones, those are the ones we search for on this platform. Okay? What do you do, sir? Business administration. Uh, supposing you do one of the course units that you do is, um, is uh, what do I say? Organizational theory. For example, okay. So you're going to go to such courses, come here, sir. And this is where all of you are supposed to go under such courses. You click there, type the course units that you want to get into. Organizational theory. And once you get now, mind mind the, the spellings because uh, if you type the wrong spelling, you will not you get zero. We we'll have American English and the British English. Click search. Once you're done, click search. Now the system will return to you all course units that read organizational theory. Now it is your duty and responsibility to know which one belongs to you. For example, this one says, this is for, says A stands for August, 20 for 2020, DIST for distance, and then the course unit name. It goes ahead to tell you, it is a master's public administration and management year one, semester one, and even those who are doing monitoring and evaluation, year one, semester one. If this is your entry, your course unit, you come to, if it is not, you continue, continue. So it's only that as of now. So you go down to enter course, enter course, and then the last item that you do, uh, activity you do, is to click at enroll me into that course. Okay. Um, I want you to search for a course called research methods. Type research methods. Those of you already there, type research methods. It is there. Click at that. Then search. And now scroll through. We have 15 research methods for units. Scroll through. I look for the one I want. Continue. Continue. Uh huh. That. Continue. Continue. Don't worry. I know how it looks like. Don't worry. This is the one I want. Continue. 
There is data. I think, Madam, you have things like media and politics. You have things like computer applications. Continue. First step. Then will be. Yes. So, he's already enrolled into this course unit. So, for you that you're enrolled into the course unit, there are some pointers. Scroll. You should be able to see the course content as this. But at the same time, under email address, under email address, he has an email here, welcoming him to the course. So this is proof, and this is why your email address should be found to your process your email address, because post communication will be coming to your email. Okay. Now, once you're there, these are, um, for example, uh, these are all, this is content. This was an exam last year. The announcements so what you need to do with the course. I'll uh, have the first topic is here, introduction to research. These are the notes, and there's a PDF for your personal reading. There is, uh, these are the sources. There is a discussion for them. Okay. If you want to access these notes, how do you get these notes? Simply go and click at the file name. The computer will run the file and will have it downloaded onto your device. Once you have it downloaded onto your device, remember I asked you a question that how many of us have had lunch? How many do you have? How many of us had lunch? Once again. How many don't have lunch? Okay. Who didn't have lunch? Feel free. Yes, I'll buy you lunch. Okay. So now. In a physical learning environment, there are those who have the money to go and buy food and have lunch. Mm -hmm. There are those who don't have the money, sometimes not money, but sometimes because of time. Okay? But at the end of the day, you're going to meet in the same class to study. So assuming the problem is money. Now, there are those who will come to class to study when they have the money to go on the photocopier and photocopy notes. There are those who will come to class to study when the only money they have in their pockets is transport money back home and wait for Posho at home to have supper and the day goes. Now, this caters for both. Those who have the money can download this, go print out and photocopy. Those who don't have the money can download, leave it on their phones or tabs, read from there. Or they file, come to the, like, uh, the lab like we are here, access a computer, pick the notes, read put down a few things in your notebook, and then you go away. Okay? Are we okay? Okay. <clears throat> so you save. Okay. So what you have saved is actually here. The moment you click at it, this is the file at words. So if we are having the notes, That's how they will be. So someone will be able to go through. Okay. And this is what the lecture will be presenting to you, will be presenting to you in class and explaining to you. The assumption is by the time you come to class, you meet your lecturer, you must have read this information prior. So that when you come to class to study with him, it's not like the second kind of teaching, but rather it is more of a discussion. It's going to explain the different concepts that is to you, and then you have more time to ask as many questions as you can. Okay? And if by any chance you feel is giving you cut more, yeah. you say, Excuse me, Mr. Joseph, that is a question. Okay? Yeah. Please stop there. So it is going to be able to access this information early enough. Okay. Uh, another thing, uh, there is a discussion, but if a lecturer has set up a discussion forum, for example, this, as a student, you simply click on the discussion forum, and when you click at it, it's going to open, that says, describe in your own words what the search is all about. Your words are not his words, neither are they has. It is your opinion. So what is your opinion about research? What do you, what do you understand by the term research? 
is what they want you to look at. And it says each field must post something because at the end of the day, it is gradable or it, you are going to grade it. So if you, deadlines are very important, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're being given an assignment to do, make sure you do it within the specified period of time. Otherwise, the system is going to cut you off. So there is one person who responded and said, uh, if, okay, let's look at it. See, as we, as when you respond, your details will be captured. So if someone says, I responded, and the details are not captured, that is good at lying. Make sure you're not evicted. So one open up this assignment and see what did he say? He's called Muhammad, is it Muhammad something? And this is what he said. He said, for me, this is how I understand it. And he puts a document. So he put his plans you can send it to this one. So if you also have another way you feel you understand research, you understand public administration, you understand business administration, you understand computer applications, you give your view. Now at the end of the day, you have a list of what other people have been contributing using those. The way you respond to people's messages on Facebook and WhatsApp. If you're using your phone, the time the moment it will come that you have to need or the need to flash it, it has run out of memory. Now, when you get back onto WhatsApp, you have lost everything you had previously. Here, you don't lose anything. Whether the phone is soon and is taken away, you say goodbye to the phone. Come to school, the university, access a computer, whatever you discuss will be there. And that's how it works out. So, you put your own perspective of understanding of these issues, and once you're done, you save, you save, and you proceed. Now, in the event, I want to end that at that point. What have we looked at? How we can have an account? How can we set passwords? How we access notes? Um, how to upload assignments and coursework? I'm going to show you where we do it. We can do it from. Uh, we have seen where we can pick the timetable. We now know what a blend learning is all about. We know what to expect from our lecturers. Are we okay? Am I right or wrong? I'm good at dancing, sometimes I dance. So once you are done and everything is finished, you make sure you sign out of your account. Now the account you have opened up today, or the one you're going to open up and have your post units, you're going to have it for the rest of your life in Uncoba. As long as you're part of Uncoba, your account will be active. When the course ends after the three years, the account is going to expire. Because we expect you to be here for either three years, or two years, or four years, depending on the program you're taking. So make sure you participate. Two. Also make sure that come to our, to our rescue and we can help you. The moment you come to us, advice will be open. Almost 24 7. So we said you need to sign out. Click at your name and click at sign up. Log out. That will be done. Um, Now, you can also go to YouTube for some of the things. Sorry. Now, on YouTube, there are a number of things you can find here. Resources for us to enrich whatever we are going through. One, type in URL under search, L-U-E-L-E.
and press enter. You'll be able to find how to create an account on the web account. That is a tutorial or a video for you to watch of how you can create your account. What we have been able to go through this afternoon is there in the form of You have an address here. Make sure you subscribe. This was orientation yesterday, yesterday for the main campus. If you want to know what take took place the other side, you come here, you'll be able to view, watch everything that happened yesterday. Come down to Fuma Investor here. Now, all these are videos from Kuba University. You can uh, scroll through. Videos for Kuba University. Okay. Features orientation, watch your book launch, quite a number of them. Come up the videos here. Those are most of the videos that we've had in Kumba. Some as well as seven, eight months. The moment, how to log on to, how to log on, how to load how to explore course content, uh, any new live stream. This is, a, this is a PhD class, presentation on a Viva. Viva is defense, okay? So someone was defending her PhD and was put across here. So you feel free. Um, what I'm interested in, how to submit assignments and coursework online. It's also in order to watch and uh, do what it says step by step. Lastly, as I leave this front, you'll vote at this. Please mind what you put on your Mind the sites you go to. Okay. If you go to very funny sites, my brother, my sister. What's your name? Diana. Okay. Okay. Each of you go to Google and type your names. Press enter. Where have you worked? You've been working somewhere. Do you have a Facebook account? Do any of these things speak about you? Anything close to you? You need to give us the right names. Okay, fine. So, type your name. Now, you see this gentleman. It's called the, uh, he has been Kumba LinkedIn has an, an, an account on, on, how do you pronounce this? Pinterest, okay. But when he was registered for all this, he didn't know. Famous of Zihu. Is that you? <laughs> now, when we put our, our, our profiles online, we are creating what we call a digital profile. Now, this digital profile, you don't know who will access this profile. This one, they are going to use to profile you. 
So make sure you go to what is what you can defend. Okay? For example, if they discover that okay, it's called home zero, okay? then my, my, my sister, my brother, we don't like what will happen. Joseph Rome is the same one with a key. Whatever I try, I try to access with a key. So it is now upon me to make sure I access what is supposed to be accessed all the time. If you keep accessing the phone all the time, that is what is going to be displayed among the things you access. And it will affect your personal life as an individual. Go for an interview, they're asking you something in an interview. They are asking you questions, but they are checking your digital presence online. So as you tell us, tell them whatever you want to tell them, and if you're lying, Oh my God, you have issues. Okay? So that is why it is important. Me, I'm very proud because if you take my name, my name will come. My sister's name will come. My father's name will come because they are everywhere. So your digital profile is very, very important. That one makes me very proud. This article makes me very proud because it speaks a lot about my family, okay? my self -inclusive. So mind what you put online, because at a point in time, it could be used either against you or for you. With those few words, friends, I want to end here, end here, and as I end, I want to apologize. But we made a lot of noise, especially after your meal. It's not very easy to listen to someone all this long. Some of you will be dosing. But remember, your digital profile is as important as yourself. If you're online and you're part of us in Nkumba, yeah, you need to be very careful. Two, in Nkumba will have publicity. So feel free. Always publicize whatever you see, at, especially the good ones. The bad ones don't. Just as you cover the bad things, eh? even the bad things from Nkumba, please cover them up. Let us know, we prove them, and then you can publicize the things. Okay? Tonight, there's what we call penetration testing. Penetration testing is a technique we use to see how good a network is. And when you find flaws in the network, get back to the systems administrator to close those gaps. So we believe you'll be the ones doing penetration testing on our environment. And once this is done and you find something that is not good, come let us know. We shall be able to put this right and move ahead for a better number. Any questions? Let me. Any question? Your sister. You know, there are two things. Either you get questions when people have not understood, or they will not ask you anything because they have understood everything. Or you have not communicated. But when I look at the faces, I see. I see the faces super good on screen. That means they are doing something. They are doing something, and uh, they are very much ready. OK. If there is none, I beg to leave. Thank you. This is my number. Those of you who want to make inquiries, feel free. I owe you.
As we for our colleagues to come, let's see what happens at the Bumba. Open up. 
make some picture to view, some photo to view. So please accept and remember the Good afternoon, our dear new students. We are to us. Now we are here to perform the, our last function. But before we do that, let me introduce the people before me. Next to me is the vice, is the guild president for those who are not around in the morning. Then after him, next to him is the, the president's alumni association. When you complete a university, you become an alumni. When we are in the O level, A level, and P7, we say O B O G. That's that's how we refer to one another. But when you complete a university, you become an alumni. Then next to him is the, our vice chancellor. The university has a structure. It is headed by the chancellor, who you will get to know as time goes on. Then he is assisted by the vice chancellor, who handles managing. The, the vice chancellor will swear in as students of Mukumba University, then he will give his remarks, then he will call it a day. But before you leave today, I'm going to ask you kindly to pass via the administrative officers, administrative assistance office, pick the timetables, get to know when are you here. Not everybody is expected to come here. You heard the president say, we have to stagger. So we are going to stagger. When you find you are supposed to be at for only two days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we don't need you on campus. Have you had members? For identity cards on Wednesday, I'm going to come with the IT people. We want you by the end of this week to have identity cards next week on Wednesday we shall be in the common room taking photos have you had telling your colleagues to cut out that function if you are in the governor thank you very much Sylvia, 
true in the name of the Roman court sovereign affirm that I will be faithful and there and pay a true allegiance to the constitution of my university bill and that I will preserve, protect, and defend this constitution. So whom will go. Libya, swear in the name of the Almighty God and the Kumba University, and and that shall promote the welfare of the students. So help me go. As you've been so, and I wish you all the best in your tenure. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Nampera, for accepting. At this chapter, let me call upon the president. I don't mind to say a few remarks. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. VC, the dean, the management team, the president, the beauty president, and the executive, our customers. Good afternoon. My name is Sonko Jackson, the alumni president of Mkumba University. I'm big by title, but I'm small like you. One time I was Like in the same way you were seated, but as a human being, a man in a changing society, definitely I became the alumni president. Being an alumni, definitely today you knew in this university, regardless of your courses you are doing, because some of you are going to take four years, maybe for law, three years, two years, maybe a oh, year, if we have, but immediately you're done with your course, definitely you become an alumni. As an alumni, definitely when we are done with our studies at the university, we don't go away completely. We just change positions, we move outside, but the heart and everything remains behind. Some of you went to nurseries, primary school, but you just imagine when you go to your nursery school, or even if you are driving, passing to your nursery school, there is that something like a smile comes into you, so look at my school. But a few of you go back and support those nursery schools. But our level, because we are mature, after the universities, definitely you go to the world. When you go outside, definitely because you've been shaped by Mkumba University, definitely you become a man or a lady of substance in the society. We become the ambassadors, and we must be proud of our university, Alma Mata. Which is in Kumba University. Meaning me to be proud of whatever I go, it is in Kumba University. 
if I find I want to change my career to another institution, Mkumba University is on my CV, it will never go away. Meaning, I have to make sure as an alumni, I support Mkumba University in all ways. Because you can imagine our brothers and sisters who went to, is it Shimon, when they pass there. When you bring your certificate reading of any name of that kind, someone, even if you go to Nasarod, you might be true that you passed that institution. But as far as we are concerned, we have to hold our shield to make sure we protect Nkumba University wherever we go. Because when you are going to the airport, you tell your friends who are whatever you want, they come. This is our university. The image we add value to our university in all capacities, in all ways. Where there is a need as alumni, for example, Mr. VC can say, look, we want to change the, to paint this building, and we don't have money as a university. We as alumni, we must sit down and mobilize funds to make sure we don't know that. Because this building reflects whatever we go, regardless how you dress, regardless your political affiliation and religious, definitely, that's why we have to be there as an association to make sure we support our university in all ways possible. When it comes like to recruitment, it is one of our roles to make sure we get involved in recruitment. My boss just said, Mr. Uncle, we need more students. I have to move left and right to make sure because you are the customers, the university will never exist when we have no students. So meaning, we try our best to make sure our university shine in all ways. Tomorrow you are the alumni. So we want to have to have that togetherness to network with you people in all ways. Because I'm employed somewhere. I have my companies somewhere. I feel proud when I'm reading the CVs, I'm seeing someone on Mkumba. I try anything possible to make sure you pass the interview. You get a point? So meaning, as an alumni, if there is a need to support the university, there is something like a fundraising, and you are employed, and you know that you know Mr. Songo connected you, definitely you run very fast. And we are being to all our friends, wherever you are, and there is something like to connect people, employment, you might not have a say. But the moment you know that there is someone of Mkumba, you can send a WhatsApp. You guys, there is some positions here in our company. Guys, those who feel like you can do so, please come. We want to have that courage of supporting each other. We want in each and every organization in this country, there is someone of Mkumba University. And this is, can only be done between you and me. Your success is my success. Your success is this is success. Because you'll be moving, seated at Serena having tea. A student comes and, no, don't you pay. My vice chancellor, don't you pay, I'm your student. You can imagine such a state. Some of you are here, you are young, but tomorrow you are going to be the CEOs of different companies. I might be rich today, but maybe I'm dealing in maze. You are going to be a CEO of a certain organization or a school whereby you have to supply their maze. And an alumni is there in the procurement. You see how we need each other. So you came alone, but make sure you have a family. We need each other, regardless of the course you are doing. At Nkumba University, we have the qualified team. 
as I told you, that your success is our success. All the doors are open to make sure you succeed. This university is a foundation of your life. You are just starting. So meaning, when you're done with the university, Mkumba University, you are going to move outside to the world. Don't stop. You are done. Come back for the diploma. When you are here for the diploma, come back for the degree. If you are here for the degree, come back for the master's, come back for the PhD. I'm also back. I'm doing my PhD at Nkumba University. Some people were asking why you went back to school. Almost you have everything. I have nothing. I'm back. I sit in the class. He says, so, uh -uh. so meaning you are just starting. Learning is a process. It is not going to stop tomorrow. I congratulate you, ladies and gentlemen, for choosing Nkumba University. You'll never go wrong. And I can promise you, don't be this shy. Make sure whatever course you are doing, you focus on more, whatever, on platforms. regardless of the course you are doing. You have to support your papers of Nkumba University. Whenever you go for an interview, you must excel. Because at least a big number of alumni, we are well connected. We are well connected. Don't be shy to have anyone who's in a but at any time, I'm putting on this jacket, but you are my brother and sisters. Call song, there is this challenge. Song, where are you? Song, I have this challenge. Song, I have this challenge. We can achieve our goal together. Think of after Nkumba University. Today, in your mind, think of who would you want to be? <laughs> That is the question you have. Whom would you want to be after the university? It is high time. Don't pray around. Be focused. We are willing to help you even outside this institution. I want to help my own because you have all the qualifications. Be proud of your institution. Wherever you go, Nkumba University, Nkumba University, Nkumba University. And on the same note, ladies and gentlemen, you came from different areas, different, from different institutions. Try to market your institution, Nkumba University, wherever you go. Because when you market it, even if you go to the next organization, even if you go to Alua, oh, oh, where you say, okay, this is not a fake university. Because you are marketing it, you are doing it indirectly. But when you get your paper, it will be very easy for you. Because everybody will be singing in Kumba University, in Kumba University, in Kumba. And those guys who are getting this. from Nkumba or NASA, Nkumba University, your parents. Please, when you go back, make sure you have your parents for me. That really, they did a wonderful job to make sure they choose Nkumba University. Let's work as a team, ladies and gentlemen. You are here to excel. You have everything you need to succeed. Succeed. First and foremost, 
Some of your friends didn't make it, but you hear. That means you succeeded. Ladies and gentlemen, work very hard. Work very hard in everything you are doing. It is not easy to succeed. Working hard and succeeding are twins. They move together. You can't work hard and you don't succeed. hard to sleep in the books. That's, Mark, you must know what you want after this institution. What you want, what, whatever I'm supposed to be doing, what? Some of you may be. When you have that principle, definitely you are going to excel. As I'm concluding, ladies and gentlemen, don't think that you are here studying. Don't think you are going to get everything from your parents. Fortunately, you are here in Kampala. All those buildings you are seeing, those are offices. Look for something to do. You came here 14. I pray for you. You leave this place driving. Because you are not a failure. The moment you pass whatever avenues you used to, what to make sure you come here, definitely you are a winner. Make sure you look for something to do. Do not mind what you are doing. What is important, what you are putting in your pocket. Staying in Nikororo when you are renting, you better stay in Nikatanga when you have your key. Are you getting my point? Make sure you look for something to do, regardless what. What you are looking for is money. You can Google and read all the names of those rich men. Their stories are bad. They didn't mind what to do so long as they are getting money. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you look for something to do. You will succeed. Be more practical in whatever you are doing. Don't say that I'm, I, I did the accounting when you even you can't construct a balance sheet when you go outside. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, remember we are living in a funny situation of COVID-19. Don't put on a mask because you have to to show us that you are putting on a mask. Trust in nobody. Trust in nobody with this disease. We need your life. If one of you get a disease and sits the way you are sitting today, all of us, we are gone. Trust in nobody with this disease. Also, you beautiful and young, age still alive. Age still alive. Don't make your parents cry and regret why you went to whatever the university. Be mindful. 
I know you are mature, you are above 18, but please, akapila bekaba tekali yuko muzanyo tewali. Check your pattern now, if you are not willing to use a condom, please. We want you alive. Even if you get money when you sick, it is useless. It is very bad when you are driving a very nice car with first class degree, but when you have AIDS. But you find someone on the street just eating on the street, but he's okay beside this man, but he, tomorrow he'll be there. Don't admire anybody there. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here to inspire. Inspire your colleagues who are behind you there that you are at Nkumba University. Let's support our university. We are willing to support you. Let, let us move as a team. Let's promote our Nkumba University in all ways possible. Because when we promote our university, definitely whenever you move, you will be respected. I thank you so much for your time. I owe you. President, thank you for those good words. Uh, before Professor Judy Mbeda comes in, I'm going to ask the speakers who perform a certain function to swear you in. But uh, as, uh, as students, normally in this semester, we have three activities. We normally have a university bazaar. Normally, it is held there. We have Freshers Ball. Both campuses normally have both functions. But as you know, COVID is there. If everything is open, His Excellency will give you the date when we'll we're organizing it for you. You know, he has a very big account. He runs, he runs the government. So the, the activities that come with by funds. So if they, when that, that, that function is there, but what I know, we are going to have Miss and Mr. Kumba. The beauties and the handsome men of Kumba are going to come and display their faces, figures. If you are really in the interesting, you will contact the, the three people here for your participation and the governor. But normally that function is held at the main campus. For the participants, they will come. For, for the students, we shall invite some. Others will be online. Because the gathering allows to some to one. And uh, all that, the president will communicate. Normally, you don't communicate. He communicates to you people. Me and him only get in touch. Then on Friday, those who are interested, we have a football match between the staff, staff guild versus the new fresh. We call them freshers, although us in Nkoma we don't use it. The newcomers. Those who are interested it will be the other side, because this side we don't have to pitch. When we come, this side we go into hiring and the people are overcharging us. Then we shall also have a sports day. That sports day, we use it to support talent of students who represent the university when it comes to inter-university games. The inter-university games of this year are going to be held in the UCU, Uganda Christian University. So that activity is fully sponsored. We go there for a week, we camp there, we participate in all sports. So if you are interested, because here we try to look around for things so that people can have hope and practice, but it is impossible. But uh, if you are really talented, we are going to give you whole what, but whenever we have what, probably we shall squeeze and bring a bus to transport you there whenever there is. Yes, those, those games play. The, the university league is on for universities, football, both men and women. Those who are interested in the university trains that main campus. I think the first two years we had students participating in the same. 
but I think the years after, from 2015, we have not had, a, we don't know whether boys this side and girls are not directed. So, a semester study told totally is 17 weeks. 15 for teaching and two for exams. Exams begin on the 17th, mark it 17th of June, end on the 4th of July. Whatever you are doing, do it knowing that at the end of the semester they are going to assess you. At this juncture, let me call the speaker to, to perform his, the function of sharing you in. Then the Professor Jude will give us his remarks and then we call it today. The president will give the closing remarks. Thank you very much, our dean. And thank you so much, Your Excellency, the President alumni. Uh, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, if permission is granted, allow me to preside over a small exercise of taking the new students on Kumba University Kampala campus through their oath. And thereafter, you can confirm upon them newly sworn in students of Kumba University Kampala campus. Then you'll go ahead and give your remarks. I thank you, sir. Dear students, I request us to have our oath with us. Can we please scan? I want to request two volunteers, one from the from the Christian family, somebody from the Muslim family. Can I have the two volunteers? Anybody from the Muslim family? So you will repeat after me. After I, you will mention your name. And then after or A, you mention the level. It's either diploma or a degree, and the course degree in something or a diploma in something. I. I, having been admitted in Nkumba University to study for a, do hereby take an oath that I shall study hard. Please repeat after me. Do hereby take an oath that I shall study hard. Do hereby take an oath that I shall study hard. Attend all my lectures. Attend all my lectures. Write all my courseworks. Write all my courseworks. Do a research project and other assignments. Do a research project and other assignments. And sit on examinations in order to achieve that goal. And sit all examinations in order to achieve that goal. And that I shall keep and abide. And that I shall keep and abide. By all the university rules and regulations. By all the university rules and regulations. Always doing my best to protect the intellectual property rights. Always doing my best to protect the intellectual property rights. And to bring honor to the good name of the university. And to bring honor to the good name of the university. So help me God. So help me God. You have been admitted to the university to study diligently and to observe all the rules and regulations of the university at this Kampala campus. May God help you to achieve your goal and congratulations. So you allow me to put off the mask since I'm a bit far from her, from, uh, from him, I hope I won't give you the corona. So good afternoon, student. Huh? What's happening? Are you hungry? Can we bring some food? Yeah? Good afternoon to you all. 
I would want also to congratulate you for making that very good decision uh, to join Nkumba University at whatever level. Some of you have are joining at the certificate level, some at the diploma level, and some at the bachelor's level and probably postgraduate level. So congratulations. And I'm very sure by the time you leave Nkumba University, you'll have attain your dreams. I know when you are sitting for your exams, those of you who are coming straight from a level, you sat alone, you took that pen, wrote all what you wrote alone. You are able to get those results as an individual and then ended up here as an individual. So you come as an individual, but into a community where you are going to live as per the norms of that community. I usually tell, especially the new students from a level, that sometimes you feel very excited, anxious and naive of what is really going to happen in your new journey. It's like you've been let out of uh, the prison at home to come and live your own life. It's a sweet life. It can be a problematic life, but it's upon you as an individual. How you live it in fulfillment of what has brought you here will be very, very, very important. I listened very well to the president of Alumia. He talked about each one of you having goals. You have those aspirations. You want to achieve something. Just imagine if we are separated into two teams and placed you in our football pitch at Nkumba University. One group on one side and the other group on the other side. And that football pitch does not have ball posts. And then I give you a ball, start playing. What would happen? She says anybody, anyone will be playing anyone. What would happen? Huh? Exactly. He says something very interesting that you will play and play from one side to another, from one corner to another, but there is no opportunity for you to score because there are no goalposts. So if you don't have a goal, it is so easy. You can't do what? You can't score because there is nowhere to score. So as you start your journey, have that goal. After three years, what do you really want to achieve? What do you want to be? Your little ones you've left home probably. Inspire them to come and be like you. And as you leave this place, aspire to be like we. We didn't start like this. We started like you. We had a God. We walked towards the God. And we are still working towards that God. I also always tell students, there are two simple things to do when you come to university. One, work so hard. Simple, work so hard. And what will be the result? You'll pass so well. The other one is very simple. 
lazy around, don't do anything, just lazy. Instead of going to class, go and sleep. It will be easy for you to completely fail. Two simple things. So you decide where you want to go. But I'm sure you will not take the other lazy side. Nobody will come to chase you around from your hostels to come to class. Nobody is going to chase you around, come from your homes to come to class. But we assume you are adults now. Anybody 18 years? Let me see your hand. It is okay. Who is 18? You see? So that means each one of you is above. You are adults and you are supposed to think and decide for yourselves on certain things. So decide that it's time for class and come to class. Decide it's time for having fun. It is a Saturday and uh, there is a party organized, birthday of party organized by my fellow colleagues down there. Go and have the fun. If it's a Sunday to relax, there is no class going on. Go and have the fun. University is also about having the fun as you do your studies. Just make sure there is time for everything. There is time for classes. There is time for serious academic work. Work without play? Yes. You cannot be working all the time. Even these people you see here, there is time they go and have to relax. It is okay, it's acceptable in life. But do it in the way it is not going to hamper your God. As simple as that. We want you at the end of your three years to be happy graduating and said, I spent my three years in the best way possible at Nkumba University. And here I am, I hold highly that I'm going out to the industry to make Nkumba University proud. You've just sworn in and you have to really, really uphold that off. It would be unfortunate for us to receive a paper, a newspaper, and we see Nkumba University student was found doing this. What you saw is to uplift and keep the brand of the university up there. So what do you think happens when you bring it down? You think we shall be happy? Definitely no. We shall, I think you've been signing. You have to sign. Don't forget. You have to sign this. So that at a particular point in time you go against it, we bring it out and tell you this is what you saw. But I totally believe you are going to be a good student. Governor, you have a very big role to play. You are supposed to be leading your fellow students in collaboration with the main guild government. You need to do it very diligently. You need to uphold all. Support all the students in whatever way. Work with your fellow guild government members. Bring out what is not happening right so that we can be able to learn about it and be able to deal with it. We are all stakeholders in this. Without you, the students, we don't have the university. So you've come to receive the services from us. We are supposed to deliver the services. 
if we are not doing it right, tell us. This is not free. You are paying for it. Your parents are paying for it. Make sure you demand for the right service to be offered. As you've been taken through the ICTs, I regard all of you people seated in here as a digital students. You are digital students. So I would expect you, all these things which are digital, they're just at your fingertips. Don't go away today when you have a smart mobile phone without having downloaded that mobile app for New Era. I'm sure they've, uh, they've shown it to you. Abe? If you have a smart mobile phone, do not go away without going to Google Store and downloading that new app. The username and password you've used here logging on to the e-learning system is the same you use in that app. And what will happen? All your courses will just come right on your mobile phone. If a lecturer has decided that the course is going to be done via Zoom or big blue button, at home, you can simply decide to go and sit on your dining table somewhere, all in the compound at home. Wait for the time, tune in, and you'll have the lecture with you. This is the era of technology. Let's tap into that opportunity. Let's use it. There are going to be so many online activities that are going to be given to you in the third hour of the week for each course. If they tell you this is a discussion forum, which you are supposed to contribute to, please contribute. Because it will be marked. They will go and find that you did not contribute anything there and you lose a mark. So follow the discussion. The way you follow the WhatsApp groups, follow the discussions online, contribute where necessary, engage each other. This is the power of technology. You will be required to show your IDs as you enter the premises. The coming week may not be that, but going forward, they will require you to really show because we do not want all of you congested here together. If it's Monday and Tuesday, be here. Leave Wednesday and Thursday for the second, third years and what? And fourth years. Otherwise, when you all of you come here and converge here, we shall be crowded and we never know who does not want us to converge together in big crowds. Let's respect it. Always have your mask on at all times. I'll make sure I buy for her a mask because it seems Either she lost it or she forgot it at home. Please, wherever you're traveling from, in the taxi, anywhere on the street, you can easily catch that virus. So at all times when you are at campus, please have your mask on. You are required to have each one of you a personal sanitizer on you. Don't know where you're holding well it's already having I'm, I'm just wondering whether we have okay but this is what we are supposed to be having these are the regulations please abide by them it is so simple let's keep our environment safe once it's safe we shall enjoy it When you are challenged as a student by anybody, by anything, and you feel like dropping out before you ever make that decision, at least find time and look for me. Just come to the main campus and say, I need to look. I need to talk to the vice chancellor. It's a problem I have. It could be a lecture that is disturbing you. 
It could be you disturbing a lecturer. The reverse would be true. And you can't really sustain it. It's disturbing you and you simply come and really this lecture. At least we shall sit down and cancel you. Please, let's think about what has brought us here. Let's abide by the rules given to us here. Let's enjoy our campus. Protect it, protect the brand. This is your campus. This is your university. Protect it. At the end of the day, when Nkumba is in the papers in the negative way, people will turn to you and say you're a university. I'm sure you'll not feel very proud. So protect it in the best way possible. President has already talked about the befriending you get here and there from your colleagues and all that. Be mindful. Not everything that glitters is gold. Not. Somebody is not going to have a stamp here that I'm suffering from HIV. No. It is the repercussions that will prove to you that actually you have now HIV. It's still very real, rampant in the youth, and it's still on and ravaging across the world. So be careful, safe your guard, safe your, safe guard yourselves in the best way possible. We want you at the end of the day, after three years or two years, graduating there joyfully, jubilating that you made it at the end of the day. So I thank your excellences. I thank the guild. I thank the DOS, Dean of Students, and entire cabinet members who have really made it possible that you have also your orientation here and ending in a good way. We thank the IT team here. They are doing quite a good job. When you have anything challenged by the IT, you see these people here, find them. They will support you to the last drop. Let's embrace ICT. Let's embrace Nkumba University. It's our university now. And let's give it the brand it deserves. I thank you so much for listening to me. And I wish you the best in your stay at Nkumba University. And I'm sure you will not regret. When you find any of these people around, say hello. They will also say hello to you. Feel free. Don't think that the this is there and that I have to. No. I'm a human being like you. And when I see somebody trying to run around, run away from me, I will come and follow you so that I say hello to you. I don't lose anything. OK? So I wish you all the best, and I have a, a great evening. Monday, we're in class. Go away with your timetable. Let's get started. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Our oh, dear Vice, Vice Chancellor, my colleague President, Venus, students, the protocol observed. I only have a small task of appreciating whoever has aided us to ensure that you have been oriented properly. So I don't have words to appreciate them, but I'm going to ask you to clap for, for them thoroughly. At least you have got hint of how you're going to start. Many other of your colleagues are not around. They will not get what you have got from here. Please, can you clap for everyone who has made it possible, even yourself? Can we clap? <laughs> Dear students, I want to assure you, 
This is my fourth year in Kumba. Because for us lawyers, we studied for four years degree. But there were things that we had started crying for a long time ago. And many of them are becoming possible because of the brains that we are having. If it was not because of the expertise of our vice chancellor and the people in the IT department, we will be still fidgeting without study. But throughout, when people are suffering with the COVID lockdown, many of us were studying because of the platform which we have just been explaining to you. We did papers online. And I'm quite sure I've already passed them. So if he was not there, I think it would be like Chambogo or else at any other university. And we always think to actually ahead of time. We did our elections of guild earlier on. When Corona came, it got to already leaders. Though our time of office was also affected. But that does not put us down. We have been doing whatever it takes to ensure that students are represented. So believe me, what my colleague Mr. Songo has said, for me, I've ever heard it from him. He's a man who wants to make you to get rich. Whichever speech he gives, his emphasis is majorly get rich, work hard, get rich. Then our dear vice chancellor, for him, he's an organized man and he wants things to be done. And I've always admired that life where every, when you put a target, you want to hit it. And that's, it has become part of my leadership strategy. When I tell my dean that this is what I want to be done for the students, even if you try to toss me around, if it is not done, I will not accept until it is done. That is one principle I've learned from him. So thank you very much for, for listening to us very well. My only last question is they have all talked. Campus life sometimes is not easy because student life is normally has no money. Today they may give you money because we still you are still a new student, but as time goes, you realize that they start reducing their support to you. And that does not mean that you should get discouraged. You should remain strong from the first day up to the last day. For me, when I was campaigning, I could enter rooms to, of students. You find somebody sleeps down without even in the bed. In hostels, some even don't, they eat food really. But at the end of the day, when you graduate, you are the most happy person. So please, the situations are different. Others may have, others may not have. Or else you may not have like others. Please stick to your goal until you achieve it. Thank you very much for listening to us. Thank you very much, administrators, for joining us to come and orient our new students. We shall continue to come here. I just pray our guild van gets out of garage because it got some problem. I will continue to come here with my team and we engage with you. Thank you very much. Now we are going to slow down for a good photo. You know, it is very rare to get photos. As we study the university, they have big numbers. To get a chance to get a photo of the vice chancellor, or the president of the alumni, or the VD president, it was very rare. So I'm asking you kindly, let's go down, take a good photo, then we depart for whatever we came for. Thank you. Thank you.